as you can see it's going to be fetched and node executed successfully if we go into our parser node here now what we're doing here is we're essentially adding a code node that will turn this file or this um this like google link google drive link into a downloadable link as you can see so this is what we need to add uh, to the URL so that we can download this so that the transcriber can actually transcribe this for us. So this is the entire code. Uh, again, you can, uh, you know, I can go here and I can show you the entire code. You can pause the video and you can check it for yourself. Uh, but basically, I, I use ChatGPT for this uh, just to make it much faster. Uh, from there, we're going to use an HTTP request node. Uh, and by the way, for this, we used deepgram.com. So deepgram.com is, this is basically the API that will transcribe uh, your uh, podcast. Now, keep in mind, you're getting 200 credits or uh, $200 credits for free. And you, you can get a lot like done with these $200 credits. And I think every single month you also get $200. I'm not sure, uh, but that's pretty much it, right? And then... What you want to do is you want to sign up to Deepgram and you want to go to your API key. You want to create an API key and you want to add this uh, endpoint. This is an endpoint where the uh, Deepgram will actually listen for your podcast and it will transcribe it. So as you can see, post method URL is this one, send headers. And then here you want to make sure you're using fields below authorization and you want to add this token right here, token and then your API key. Uh, from there, we have content type, which is application JSON, and then we also have send body JSON, and then using JSON, and then this is very important. You want to add a URL from this code node. So let's execute this code node. As you can see, direct URL, we want to add that right in here. The language should be English. Um, for most of you, it will be English. Uh, but yeah, if you want to like um, you know, edit this to Espanol or any other language, you can do that. I think you can actually check for the languages uh, in the uh, API playground or documents, documentation. Um, but that's it for the transcription, right? And from there, as you can see, if we test this step, we have our transcript right here.